Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. So today I am not the most presentable. I don't know, I just feel like I need a bath. I need to get ready. Well, I don't need to get ready, but I, I just, I was gonna do my makeup for this video. I was gonna sit down. I was gonna film an actual haul of loads of Christmas stuff that I bought this year. But I just don't really feel like doing that. Like, I don't know why, I just can't be bothered. So I've got my comfy clothes on. I've got loads of cleaning to do. I'm sort of in the middle of cleaning anyway. But I thought I would show you a few things that I picked up this year for Christmas. I like Christmas. I It's my favorite time of year, as it is for most people, or a lot of people anyway. And I like to have my decorations up early. So I actually put my Christmas decorations up on the 31st of October, which to some people is absolute madness. But uh, my excuse, okay, and I don't need to give an excuse, is that they make me happy. I don't get bored of them before Christmas. Like people will say, oh, won't you get bored of them halfway through December? No, which is why I'm happy to put them up. I feel cozy with them up. And also I have spent money on my Christmas decorations. I am collecting several decorations each year and adding to my Christmas collection. I don't wanna have them up for just a few weeks of the year. I wanna make the most of the money that I'm spending on these items and I enjoy having them up, you know? I would have these up all year if I could. So that's my reasoning, not that I need to give a reasoning, but whenever I say to people, I've got my decorations up already. They look like almost annoyed. And it's like, come on, like seriously, <laughs> it's Christmas decorations. It's literally just objects in my house. We don't need to um, get angry about this. We can all calm down. Um, but I thought that I would show you a few of the things that I've got and it might give you inspiration for things that you can purchase because a lot of these things I've actually got recently from B&M or The Range or Morrison's. You know, there's some good little shops that you can get things from. So I thought I would just share with you some of the stuff that I've got and where I got them from. And it might inspire you to get a few of these things. Um, but yeah, I've got a few bits recently and I will show you them. This is gonna be a very quick video. Let's go. So this is kind of like an overview of my living room. I know that, you know, there's like my radiator thingy there and like a pile of laundry that I need to put away, but, Overall, it's quite a cozy room. When you've got the light off, it is super cozy and when candles are going, I'll try and insert a picture over the screen now of like kind of what this room looks like when it's really cozy at night time. As you come in, there is this Merry Christmas doormat and it was only like two or three pounds from B&M or was it the range? Actually, I think that was from the range or maybe it was B&M, who cares? It's either from B&M or the range. Then in the windowsill, we have this which is like a countdown to christmas little thing so you can like change the numbers in here i have a gingerbread reed diffuser to scent the room my advent calendar for this year is a dairy milk one just plain and simple and i did also buy this um, toxic waste advent calendar because i love sour things so i'm excited to try that I also picked this kind of teddy cushion reindeer thing from, I also picked up this teddy cushion reindeer thing from Morrison's and yeah, it's really cozy and I like it and I'll probably pop that on my bed actually because, you know, he's just kind of chilling on my hamster's cage at the minute so he's not really got a place. I have this candle which is another countdown to Christmas item and you basically burn it each day up until Christmas and it's got the numbers as to where you burn down to which I think is quite cool. These things are things that my mum got me last year. This I got yesterday. So I picked this up at Brig Garden Centre. If you've ever been to Brig which is a place <laughs> then um, go to the garden centre. It's very very Christmassy. I might film a few clips there um, when I go next but yeah I got this little guy which he was so cute. A previous year I did get a bigger version of him and like a grey one which is here. More expensive but yeah he's really cute so I had him for a few years and then I've also had this guy for about three or four years that my mum got me from somewhere I'm not entirely sure. 
I have this Merry Christmas kind of door hanging thing, just a random thing. And also randomly placed candy canes, you might notice. This stocking I had, I bought this last year actually, and I don't use it as a stocking, I just use it to hang because I think it looks so cool like where it's hung there. Um, but yeah, I don't put anything in it and it wouldn't be able to hold anything hanging from there, it would probably break. But yeah, around my fireplace, so I love my stove area and the fireplace and I try and make everything look as cosy as possible. I have these two little guys which I bought last year. I'm not sure where I got them from but I know that they was cheap. There was only a few pounds each so I was like, yes, I'm buying those. I have this reindeer candle that I bought this year. I have burnt like half of that already. I think he's so adorable. I then have this Robin, which again, I get out every single year. I've had that for years. More candy canes. Then over in this corner, which I do need to kind of organize, I have a box of logs for the fire and then a blanket and then just wires and things. I need to sort this out because I don't like how that looks. But I have this reindeer, which I bought a couple of years ago. Oh, actually, no, did I get this last year? No, I think I got him last year. This is my purchase from Brig Garden Center last year. I always get something from Brick Garden Centre every single year. This year it was the little white wrap thing. Um, and last year it was the reindeer, which I've just shown you. And yeah, I just kind of think that every year it's nice to kind of get something different each year to add to my little Christmas collection. This year I have bought a lot of Christmassy stuff, but I recently moved into my, my own place um, and I'm renting here so when I actually buy somewhere I can take these items with me and I can reuse them every single year it's not like they're gonna go to waste or they're gonna get chucked out like I don't mind buying these things because again like they will be reused every single year then the Christmas tree this is what my family had at Christmas um, throughout the years. My mom has now been converted to like a white Christmas tree instead of this one. So I've had this for the last few years and he's still going strong. He's got some baubles on there and some candy canes. But yeah, that is my Christmas tree and I'm happy with that. I have a couple of hanging um, like little stocking things up there as well. Some tinsel. Oh, I forgot to mention the tinsel over on my hamster's cage as well. Um, but this is pretty much the living room. Oh, hang on, I forgot to mention these guys. Um, a little reindeer sign. You can actually flip that over and it says naughty on the other side. Um, and then this little hanging Santa. But yeah, this is the living room. I find it really cozy and I just like everything that's going on. That's pretty much everything kind of Christmassy related except for a few pieces in the kitchen. I only really want to decorate my living room. I'm not interested in decorating the whole house. I just like to have that one kind of Christmassy room. But I have got a few things in the kitchen like I said. I have these two tea towels which are Christmas themed which I really like. I also got some cupcake cases that are Christmas themed for when I do baking, like Christmas themed bakes. And now for the thing that people might not understand, but I do and I like it, is the many mugs that I've purchased. Now I have probably eight or nine Christmas mugs and last year I only had one. So that means that I've bought about eight, seven or eight mugs this year and they were only like a few pounds each, but they make me happy. I love each one and all I've been drinking out of is Christmas mugs and I'm happy about that and I will be reusing them every single year. So yeah. So the one Christmas mug that I've had for the last kind of four years is this reindeer mug and I love this little guy. I've just had a cup of tea out of him like an hour ago but some new additions to the collection this year. To be honest, I probably won't need to buy any mugs next year. Um, but I've got this snowman mug here, which I think was from B&M. I then got this snowman mug from Morrison's. And also this mug was from Morrison's as well. It's like a polar berry mug thing. Um, a few of my Christmas mugs are actually stacked up in here, but I want to show you them because they're cute. Oops. So I've got this mug here which I really love. This is one of my favourites. I also line these mugs up in the window so I can see them. I then have this one, which is like a cosy 
Christmas gingerbread house cottage thing, which I really like. Drinks taste better in these mugs as well, by the way. Um, this is like a gingerbread man Merry Christmas mug. I really love this mug as well. Well, I really love them all, but some of them are favorites. Um, then we have this Santa mug, which again, I really love. And he's so adorable. I think I got this one from the range. I'm not sure. It's either B and M or the range. Just go to both shops and you'll see these mugs. And then finally, which was definitely from B and M, it's this mug and it's got a G on it because my name is Georgie. And they've got loads of other letters as well, but I thought that was really cute. So I've got that one. So yes, that is a concerning amount of mugs, including this one but I really like them. They're all quite different and they're all really adorable and I just really like them. So there we go. So that is all of my Christmas decorations this year. It's kind of a little tour of them. Sorry, that's the radio to make in a sound. And I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. I might get like one or two little bits and bobs, but that's pretty much everything. Really happy with everything this year and I'm gonna film some Christmas related videos coming soon. I'm trying to film at least one video a week now, maybe two, but I'm just going to make sure that I do one because I enjoy filming and I just don't find the time for it. I always think to myself, I'm going to do my makeup and film, but I think it's the doing my makeup part that lets me down because I don't enjoy doing my makeup on a Sunday. I just want to chill and it's Sundays when I have time to film. So I just might not be wearing makeup and I don't think you really care about that. Like, do you? I don't think you do um, and I don't know why I should but yeah so thank you for watching if you haven't got your Christmas decorations up already which I assume you haven't then tell me when you usually put your Christmas decorations up because I know that people have varying opinions on this hopefully I've given you some inspiration for things that you can get oh yeah another thing is um, a candle I got this from the range I also got another vanilla candle these are only three pounds or I think 3.99 or something which I think is really decent considering a Yankee candle of this would be a lot more than that but yeah they're actually really nice so I would recommend but yeah thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos on my channel and I will see you next week for another video Goodbye. Mm -hmm.